Yeah, I am so excited just wanting to be traveling. I literally just parked my car and I'm back, um, back to the desert. And I just, as I was driving and thinking, um, you know, it was such a good trip home. My last um, blog that I wrote on the website was about returning, you know, the power of returning, the power of returning to a place, a person, um, a, a period in time, and the many ways that we do that. And so this trip home was like really fitting because it came at the point of, you know, thinking about, you know, how my, my month before um, was really about, was about that. And, you know, now um, moving into this new month and starting it off with a trip home was really wonderful and getting to see my parents and you know visiting and just being being home um on on my land I find it like such good therapy such good medicine to just be on the Nebuchadnezzar you know to be in Navajo land and to get to enjoy um the quietness my my heart my spirit is not um it adapts very well to being in the city, but it's not at home in the city. And so it was really a good trip. And I was thinking about just this idea of like the time, these past couple of trips, I spent a lot of time with the women in my life. Um, my uh, my niece came back with me this time and she's just, just so precocious and inquisitive and her energy is just really um, one that inspires me a lot to, to think about the world in a new way and you know my mom and I um, took her on a little adventure and we kind of cruised around on the reds back home and you know I was thinking and reflecting you know that really when I get to have these experiences and like the time with my sister from the last vlog you know I was in White Sands my time with women is really a kind of worship and um, even before this trip I got to spend like a beautiful coffee date with my soul sister and all of these women really help me rejuvenate, reconnect, um, rekindle parts that m I might be forgetting. And I find that so beautiful. I find that really, really wonderful to be able to have um, women, especially in my life, who help me do that. And wanting to express that, that idea, too, in terms of... Um, with Nahasna Shema, you know, Mother Earth, and being able to connect with Mother Earth is something that's really important to me, and I cultivate that even here in the city, and so I think um, it's really important to have um, women supportive, you know, relationships, um, especially for women, I feel like it's really, it's good medicine, and um, I literally parked my car and wanted to get out and and make this vlog and just really be appreciative of of that of this trip and um I'm super excited that I get to share that with you and um I'm excited that you know I um that this is good medicine for me connecting especially to the female like readers and followers of Garnet Navajo because um I really enjoy it. I really enjoy, you know, hearing your stories and your comments and sending what you send back to me is also rejuvenation and helps me to just think more about what it means to be um, Nazantana, you know, a, a Navajo woman. And um, that's, I think, what is really exciting about spending time with women in my life. Um, whether it is my best friends or my my mom or you know my 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 niece, um, being with them like makes me more, and I'm always excited. You know that idea of like we are always becoming. So just wanted to kind of share that and think about and um, you know challenge us in ways to be able to connect and cultivate curiosity, whether it's in our own lives or with other people. And I think that there are a variety of ways to be able to do that. And um, yeah, so that's kind of what I wanted to share. And um, I hope that you all are having beautiful days um, this summer. And um, I'm thinking of you. So keep shining. I am so grateful for you. Yeah.